Hello Internet and welcome! Which hugging face to choose? So if you are new to programming artificial intelligence, there's a beautiful website called Hugging Face where you can find a lot of pre-trained models for artificial intelligence applications. Today I want to show you how to use the page where the models are listed, about the specifica of the models, how you find out on what body of text they have been trained, for long, how long they have been trained, and what are the main characteristics and application of those pre-trained models. We will focus, of course, on BERT transformer models, but you will see that we have models that have been trained on top of other models, meta models, like for example, you will find in sentence embedding, where you have a normal BERT transformer model, a word embedding model, you have some pooling algorithm going on, and then you suddenly have, instead of a word embedding, you have a sentence embedding. As you are familiar with BERT, you know that BERT operates on word pieces, so the length of the sentence will have some relevance, because you will see that some models are able to uh, calculate uh, strings that have up to 384 word pieces, other are more or less limited to 128 word pieces, so therefore you should know the average and maximum length of your sentences and choose wisely the model you apply, the pre-trained model you apply to those. And of course, in the next code video, I will show you how to code your own models based on the input of pre-trained models and how far we can go with this without being able to access thousands of CPUs or a cluster of TPUs or whatever. Enjoy the next video. We are now for the code segment of this YouTube video. As you can see, this is the starting page from Hugging Face. And if we scroll down, you can already see here the featured models. And if we click now on Explore Models, you get to the page where I choose my models. So at first on the left hand side, I choose the language. My text, for example, here is in English. Let's put it a little bit bigger. And my libraries I'm working is is PyTorch. Of course, you can use TensorFlow. And the task I'm interested in, so at the first, is a fill mask. And as you can see now, I have 72 models available for me for download. These are already pre-trained models. And here on the top, you see here, you have BERT base uncased. This is a typical film mask application, updated May 18, downloads 12.1 million. And there's a Roberta model, there's a bird based cased model, there's a bird large model. And if you want to find out about the specialities of all these models, you simply click the model and you get a very short summary. So you get a model description, BERT is a transformer model based on whatever its intended uses and limitation is, for example, here. This model is primarily aimed at being a fine-tuned task whole sentence to make decisions, sequence classification, token classification, or question answering. And they tell you for tasks such as text generation, you should look at a model like GPT-2. You can use this model directly with a pipeline for mask language modeling. And if you have the text here, you can have your transformer models. This is the way you apply it in PyTorch. This is the way you apply it in TensorFlow. And then you have a section limitations and bias. Interesting is also that they give you the training data. The BERT model was trained on the book corpus, the data set of 11,000 books, and English Wikipedia. The training procedure, the pre-training, the evaluation results, and if you use it, it would be nice to leave a citation. So if you choose your model, yeah, for here, you have a hosted inference API. So just to show you, Paris is masked 
of France and you compute this now with this model, what the result you would get is Paris is the capital of France, is at the heart of France, the center. But you see here, if you look at the probability distribution, capital here is 0.997, so Paris is the capital of France. If you want to copy this, you just have here copy object info name to the clipboard. But of course, if you're interested in a model that has a higher size, you just uh, can use the Bert Large model. And as you can see, this model has 24 layers, 1024 hidden dimensions, 16 attention heads, and 336 million parameters. Again, you see here intended use. This is here, whole sentence to, to make decisions, sequence classification, token classification, or question answering. If you are now, uh, for example, interested in a specific thing, you just choose your application. I will show you sentence similarity. So this means we have here a sentence transformer model based on a word embedding word transformer model. And if we go in and then we have PyTorch and the English language activated, you can see we have here 22 pre-trained model we can download. Quite uh, familiar is all in PNAT base version 2, updated seven days ago. You can see this is quite a fresh model. <laughs> so let's have a look at this. We have a 768 dimensional dense vector space. And we have can be used for tasks like clustering or semantic search. Clustering, I can make a video on clustering and semantic search is also an easy application if you use this. You can install it with the sentence transformers and you see this is the code to apply it. So very easy. Of course, without sentence transformer, you can build the model yourself. You define a pooling function, a CLS pooling or a mean pooling function, and then you just apply the tokenizer and the model and you get your embeddings. You get some background, the intended use, as we already showed you. Here you find now that this uh, that the input text longer than 384 word pieces, remember word is not based on word but on word pieces, is truncated. So watch out for the maximum length of your sentences. The pre-training, fine-tuning, hyperparameters, training data, you even get the Python or the JSON files, and then you have the data set it was trained on. The training data. You have total number of sentences, pairs is above 1 billion sentences, and here you have all these things. So what I would be, I don't know, if something is trained on Reddit comments, uh, you should be aware that this is a very specific, domain-specific knowledge you train this on. So always have a look at the body of text, the data set that this model has been trained on. So very, very nice if they give you the exact data set they are open, they are transparent. You have an idea on which data set this model has been trained. And as you can see, you can also, if you're interested in the details of the model, you can read the archive files. So this is a very short introduction to the page of Hugging Face, the different models you have. Of course, you can choose data spaces. You can have here uh, different uh, models you could download. But for example, sentence transformers, very nice. I found uh, the mini LM L12 version two, the MPNet base version two. Also a very good general model is the still revert version one. And I will show you this in the next video maybe. So these are the pre-trained model you can apply for your artificial intelligence application for specific applications. Thank you. And I see you in the next video.